Hi, I'm Amy Hawkins. And I'm David Baxter. Welcome to Caveras This Week. This week we are out at the Carolina Mall where there is a really neat photography oh, yeah. display. Um, as part of the One Book, One Community event um, here with the uh, Caveras County Public Library. David's going to give you information on that display, but we are literally chock full of a lot of great information on the show this week, so you might want to get a pen and piece of paper to jot some things down, but if you missed anything, we'll always have our contact information at the end of the show. Now, as Amy said, we're at the Carolina Mall in Concord, and this is a national traveling exhibit here, and it's called A Thousand Words, Photographs by Vietnam Veterans. And I tell you what, being from that era, and I had a lot of friends that went to Vietnam, and uh, I mean, this is a very moving, I mean, it kind of gets you a real experience here. Mm -hmm. The exhibit includes 60 color and black and white reproductions of photographs by North Carolina Vietnam veterans taken during their tour. Now, the exhibition is a culmination of eight months of research, photo restoration by photography students from the Sawtooth School in Winston-Salem. It's volunteers, 50 veterans, who submitted over 3,000 photographs and related organizations. It was curated by Martin Tucker, a Navy veteran and a photographer himself, and is on display here at the mall until March the 17th. And then it's going to move to the Kannapolis branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library from March 21st to April the 15th. The exhibit was arranged by the Cabarrus County Public Library and tied on to its ongoing events surrounding the 2011 One Book, One Community Cabarrus Reads program. Now this year's program features The Things They Carried by author Tim O'Brien. He's an award-winning book that provides a profound narrative of the human heart as told through a story of the Vietnam War. There are more than 25 programs throughout March and April, including community book discussions, theater events, children and family programs, film, and a visit from the author. For more information, just call 704-920-2050 or visit the library site at cabarruscounty.us slash library. And I tell you what, if, if you're familiar with that era, I mean, really, the photographs are very moving. Uh, there's a number of folks that kind of been looking at a number of Vietnam right. veterans that just came by while right. we were filming and saying how impressed they were mm -hmm. with this. Uh, you really need to check it out. That's great. Well, if you are part of a nonprofit agency um, that might be finding it a little tough uh, to find money to uh, make ends meet, uh, Cabarrus County might be able to help. Cabarrus County has a warehouse full of surplus office furniture, equipment, and supplies available to give area nonprofit organizations for free. The surplus giveaway will be held Wednesday, March 16th from 10 a.m. until noon at the County Warehouse, which is at 103 Commercial Park Drive. That's right off of um, Highway 29, just north of the Tractor Supply Company. Now, some of the items available are chairs, desks, file cabinets, desk sets, binders, print cartridges, and workstations. Any 501c3 or charitable nonprofit agency serving Cabarrus County citizens is welcome to come shop. All items taken must be used by the agency and not resold. There will be no early admissions. You can register in advance by sending a copy of your agency's IRS determination letter by email attachment to petepastors at cabarruscounty.us or fax to 704-920-3277. You also can bring a copy of the letter the day of the event. For more information, just call 704-920-3280 or log on to kabirascounty.us. <laughs> okay. I tell you what, if you're looking for some fun at the arena, we got something going on out there. Pro Wrestling Evo presents Life As We Know It. Now, this event's on March the 12th from 7.30 until 10 o'clock in the evening and p.m. Now, Cabarrus Arena and Event Center. Now, the audience will see the Evo Heavyweight Champion, Cedric Alexander. <laughs> he faces his first match as champion. <laughs> and how uh, wrestler Zach Salvation uh, restores his place in the order, in the realm of excellence. Okay, so you can't miss that. Now, doors open at 6.30 p.m. Tickets at $10 in advance for adults, $12 at the door. One child uh, 10 years old or younger will be admitted free with a paying adult. Each additional child with a paying adult will be only $5. Now, children under 10 are free. Parking is $5. For ticket information, call the arena at 704-920-3976 or just log on to cabarrusarena.com. Come on out to the arena for a whole lot of fun. That's great. Well, summer camp spots are filling up quickly, so um, now is your chance to go ahead and register your child for the 
Spears County Discovery Day Camp. It's held out at Franklin's Park um, in Concord, June 20th through August the 12th. Children will learn about nature, fitness, and healthy eating habits. Their days will be filled with field trips, crafts, and other fun activities. Really great camp, a lot of fun for kids. Um, camp hours are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. weekdays for children ages 6 to 12 years old. Registration fees vary from $85 to $110 per week. That depends on how early you register and how you choose to pay. You can register online at cabarrascounty.us slash reserve partner and click on the Summer Camp 2001 folder or just call Franklin's Park at 704-920-2702. Now, Colleen McDaniel, who's the owner and designer of Inspired Gardens, Inc., will speak on fruit-bearing trees, shrubs, and growing organic vegetables in small places. Mm. That's going to be on March 19th at 2 p.m. at the Kannapolis branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library. Now, McDaniel is going to emphasize the layout and design requirements for your yard. Now, she'll also highlight the importance of eating seasonally and show you kind of how to locate, you know, different farmers who provide animal products to complete your diet. Now, the talk is free, sponsored by the Kannapolis Friends of the Library. For more information, just call 704-920-1180 or just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash library. You know, that's, you know, that's a great idea because a lot of people have small yards and this right. is a great way to right. kind of utilize that, Absolutely. have your own vegetables. Well, registration for adult softball leagues is ending very soon. March 18th is the last day to register your team to um, compete in the spring-summer season uh, with Cabarrus County Adult Softball League. Now, um, the league will begin play late March and it runs through early July. Now, divisions are offered in co-ed open, men's church, men's open, men's church, women's open, and church leagues. All games are played at Franklin's Park. For more information, you can email BR Sharp at CabarrusCounty.us or call him at 704 920 2702. To register, you can log on to CabarrusCounty.us slash parks slash adult athletics.html. That's a whole lot of fun out there. It, it really is. Great time. Now, uh, bored is not a word you're going to hear from your children's mouth if they're kind of uh, doing these programs. Now, if they attend one or more programs in the 4 H Summer Fling, and that's sponsored by the North Carolina Cooperative Extension. Cabarrus County 4-H program is designed for children 5 to 14 years old. And some of the programs that they're going to offer include uh, the Science extrav Extravaganza. Mm. Okay, easy for me to say, right? Uh, learning how to garden or to sow. Uh, public adventures with children. They'll learn about voting and kind of how to take action steps to change something in their community. Yeah. So that's action. Introducing uh, children to the world of agriculture. Maybe they maybe grow their own tomatoes there. Yeah. Learning about snakes, turtles, and lizards with live animals. Oh, All right. That like fun. Yeah, there you go. And a shark tooth fossil dig. I don't know that's, where they're going to be digging that at, but that's pretty cool. Do yeah, we have we're... shark teeth around here? Could be. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Traditional camp at uh, Betsy Jeff Penn 4 H camp. Most activities are going to be held at the Cabarrus County Center, and that's at 715 Cabarrus Avenue West in Concord. Register online at cabarruscounty4h.com under the link 4-H Summer Fling Registration or just go to cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner. Click on Cooperative Extension folder. Registration continues throughout the summer, but uh, some of the sessions do have a deadline seven days before the event. So, or more information, just call 704-920-3310 and have all your kids join in the fun. <laughs> Great things coming up for the summer. Well, um, something great for kids right now, especially as we are starting to get into the warmer months. Um, children five years and up can learn about pollution through a series of experiments and the effect it has on global warming at Franklin's Park on Saturday, March 19th from 10 until 11 a.m. Now the cost is $5 per child. Pre-registration is required by March 15th. Just meet um, the staff at the park office. For more information, you can call 704-920-2702 or uh, to register, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner and type global warming in the class search box. Now the living room reading series at the old courthouse theater is gonna present a performance of Shirley Lecko's play, A Piece of My Heart. And that's on Sunday, March the 13th at 4 p.m. Now this play depicts the experiences of six women during the scent of Vietnam and their struggle to make sense of the war that changed them. 
Now this performance is free and open to the public. Uh, there is no reserved seating. The Old Courthouse Theater is located at 49 Spring Street in Concord. For more information, just call the Old Courthouse Theater, 704-788-2405, or just log on to oldcourthousetheater.org. Well, if you have um, questions about how your county government operates or maybe some of the new initiatives, um, things coming down the road, uh, county budget, the tax revaluation, um, lots of new initiatives that we have with sustainability and local food. If you've got questions on any of those things, plus a lot more, um, sign up now to take part in County Government 101. This is an eight-week series that is going to give you behind-the-scenes tours, um, you know, get you um, right up with um, all the leaders that are making the decisions. Um, you can ask lots of questions um, and lots of hands-on interactive activities so you can really understand how the county operates and works. This is great for um, leaders in neighborhood groups, um, homeowners associations, um, and also is great for um, young adults who right. are interested in learning more. Um, the classes are open to ages 16 years and up. They are free. Um, registration is required though, and class space is limited. Now, the eight work, eight week course begins on March 15th and it will meet on Tuesday evenings um, from 6 until 8 p.m. through May the 10th and that's going to be at the Cabarrus County Governmental Center which is at 65 Church Street in downtown Concord. Now class is free as I said but registration is required so go ahead and register online now um, by going to cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner click the county government folder. Um, for more information, you can call 704-920-2336. Now, one of the presenters is uh, Clarence Horton. Judge yes, Horton. he was going to be talking about the history of Cabarrus County. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. That'll be out at um, Camp Spencer Park with a little uh, marshmallow roast and learning about the history um, right from Clarence Judge Horton. So uh, it'll be great. It is a trip. Now, I know we've went over a lot of information today, so if you missed the contact info, don't worry about it. Just go to our web address, which is cabarruscounty.us. And uh, up in the front there is a little search box, A through Z. You can type in the topic, pretty much find anything you're looking for. If you have any kind of problems, just send us an email at channel22 at cabarruscounty.us. And, of course, one of the best ways to get all the information you're looking for is to sign for our email newsletter. And you can do that by going to our website, cabarruscounty.us. Click on the Join Our Mailing List link. Type in your email address. You'll be set to go. You'll get that information. Everything we talk about on the show, right. um, before the show actually airs, you'll get like the first-hand peek <laughs> at all the things that are going on in Cabarrus County so you can plan your week ahead. And if you have family or friends that don't have Time Warner Cable, can't watch us on Channel 22, well, in all our different programs, just go to our web address, which is cabarruscounty.us. Right there on the home page is a little video screen. Right below it is a Channel 22 icon and a YouTube icon. Click on that. You can find out, uh, see everything we do on demand. And uh, Cabarrus this week, got a brand new historical moments on the Reed Gold Mine. It's really good. That's going to be on there now. Uh, we have all kinds of the Simply Local with mm -hmm. the new uh, thing with uh, Pam Ooten mm -hmm. and David Goforth. It was, it was a lot of fun to watch. So in all kinds of different programs and the commissioner's meetings, of course. So uh, we have a lot of different things going on, so you can watch it on demand whenever. Now this, I tell you what, the, the one thing about this, this exhibit, it, it kind of brings back, if, especially if you kind of grew up in this era, um, when you look at these photographs, it brings back a lot of different memories for me, and because I had a lot of friends that were in the Vietnam War, and um, it really is this whole campaign uh, with the book mm -hmm. and all the readings and all that and the plays, I mean, this is really, I think it's really nice to be able to kind of, um, you know, salute our veterans, mm -hmm. uh, the men and the women that were in Vietnam. That one thing that I really find so compelling about this photography exhibit, um, not only the photographs, which are just striking and, and tell a story in itself, but it also has the narrative from the person who took the photograph. So um, the photographer is actually explaining what's going on oh, in wow. the photo, um, which gives so much, especially for folks like myself, um, who didn't grow up right. in that generation, to be able to really capture what Vietnam really was all about. You can see it in words and pictures, so it really is. Um, bring your kids, um, everyone should come out and see this. Carolina Mall. Absolutely. And until next week, you have a great one.